Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back. My name is Suska and this is Suska Digital Budgeting. In today's video, we are going to be budgeting and stuffing paycheck number two of September. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead and stay tuned. All right, so paycheck number two of September. Let's go ahead and get on into it. So sliding right on over here. My paycheck this week was $2,646.27, and I just rounded that down to $2,646. Make it easy, easy, easy on me and this apparently fried brain. We're already starting off at a good place. Great. So let's go ahead and count this cash and find out if I do indeed have what I'm supposed to have. I'm not going to grab that full stack. That's just ridiculous. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a thousand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2000, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, oh, wait, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 93, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 4, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, or 600, excuse me, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. All right. So 2000, that's 500, $646. All right. So let's get on this money all organized. So how's y'all's week been? How's y'all's month been? We're creeping up towards the end of September, which is, I say it literally every, every video, but it's astonish, astonishing to me how quickly um, this year has been just flying on by um like my birthday's in a week like you know whatever i just it's just too fast it's fine it's fine guys it's fine <clears throat> all right so now that we've got all the money organized and all of the things let's go ahead and go on down to bills excuse you you're not supposed to do that go away thank you all righty so let's go ahead and go on into bills starting out with rent as always that's getting seven hundred and thirty dollars <throat> one two three four five six seven hundred and thirty which hurts my heart so much let's see Ugh. 730 good great golden up next is utilities which is getting $70 as usual yeah. and then internet's getting 35 it's it my internet bill went up a little bit but it hasn't gone up a lot so I don't know what the deal with that is but we'll see next month what the bill is because I'm just stuffing extra until I know it's like stabilized at something. And if I have extra, then cool. That'll just go in the month ahead binder. That's fine by me. So, all right. Internet. And then, ooh. Then we've got car insurance, which it did go up because, you know, I got a new car and um, newer cars that are on lean are. Um, gonna be you know they're gonna cost a little bit more so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna double back to my car loan because I forgot what order they were in so car insurance is getting 150 Heat. Okay. and then for my car loan we're actually gonna come over to its debt but it's also a bill so my car loan we're just putting $200 in um, this month, I actually have three paychecks before my first um, car payment is due. So we're just putting 200 in. It's not actually the half. Like true half is like probably close to like 250, 260. 
but um, we're not stuffing the full amount right now. So that is what that is. All right, coming back to bills. Power is getting 30 as usual. And then <clears throat> vet bills is getting 34. And then we've got cat stuff, which is getting 15. There's a lot of fives and tens in here. I need to kind of like minimize that. I should probably do that. All right. Phone is getting 20. Subscriptions is getting 28. That's not right. 25. 28. Okay. I can count, I promise. All right. All right. So that is it for bills. It is also it for my car loan. Ugh. Adding bills. Everything gets more expensive when you make more money. Love how that goes. All right. Coming on down to spending allowances. All right. So let's find out. How much is left over in here? So we've got in gas, there is still $50 left over. However, I am leaving that in there um, just because uh, I have a truck now, which has a 20 gallon tank. So I'm not 100% sure how much it's gonna cost to fill up that tank. So um, I'm just gonna add to that envelope and not take anything out um, this paycheck and see how much it is when I do go and fill up my tank and then I can be able to budget that in but it's a bigger tank so I can drive farther so I may not be filling up as much I don't know there's a lot of a lot of moving bits there so um, as of right now that $50 is just going to stay in there and um, we'll work with it right all right so in food we have 20 40 50 51, 50 54 dollars left over we got coffee we have 15 left over general spending. We have 20, 30, four left over. And then laundry, we have the 10 as usual because I am not doing laundry here, but I don't want to take that envelope out yet because it's kind of like a miscellaneous. Think of it as a miscellaneous now. Um, so let's go ahead and stuff these bad boys on up. So for gas, we are going to add 50. So I'm going to have $100 in here. I'm thinking it's going to... It's going to cost anywhere between 60 and 80 dollars probably to fill up my tank you know with you know how much everything fluctuates so um i just i have 100 dollars in there so whenever i need to fill up my tank i can you know right so get in there so now there's 100 dollars in there food is getting 120 as usual um coffee is getting as usual 50. And we've got general spending, which is getting 60. And then up last here, we've got laundry, which is getting its usual 10. So laundry slash miscellaneous. All right. So that is that. And then up at last here is just all my receipts that I need to scan on in to fetch. If you have not heard of fetch, fetch is just a app that you download onto your phone or tablet or whatever. And all you do is you scan in receipts as you get them and you get points for those receipts. You can also upload receipt receipts from like Amazon or Walmart or um, some from your email will pull over. Um, and those points as well, or those receipts as well, will turn into points and you can turn those points into gift cards towards restaurants, towards, um, Starbucks clothing, gift cards for so many different things. They have so many different options to um, redeem what you can redeem your uh, points for. It's pretty fantastic. All right, so that is it for spending allowances. Let's go ahead and organize this money and see how much we're gonna be stuffing in to the 100 envelope savings challenge here towards the end of the video. All right. All right, so we've got 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So $113 is going to go towards the 100 Envelope Savings Challenge at the end of the video. Stick around for that. But for now, let's go ahead and come on over to Sinking Funds. So starting off here in my pink emergency fund binder, which is just getting thinner and thinner because I don't have my um, car one in there anymore, which kind of makes me sad, but at the same time it doesn't because uh, I bought a new car finally, right? So main savings is getting 264. So 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 264. So, in main savings, we've got 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. So, 3,751 dollars. Oop, that is getting hot. Alrighty. Up next here is auto repair, which is just going to get $20. So we've got 1, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95. So $295. And then I've got emergency fund up next, which is getting $30. So an emergency fund, we have 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 700, 720, 740, 760, 770, 780, 790, 790 in here. Right, so 790 in emergency fund. Up next is home, which is also getting $30. I'm going to try and stuff a little bit more in here since this is now my next big um, goal. Let's have down payment for a house. Although I really want to pay off that car loan sooner rather than later, so that actually might take priority. We'll see. We've got 100 or 1,000, 100, 2, 3, 4, 500, 1,500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 10, 20, 25. So 1, 6, 2, 5. All right, and that is it for our emergency fund binder or emergency binder, whichever, however. Moving on over to our higher priority sinking funds, starting out with school. School is getting 25 this week. So in school we have 120, 40, 50, 55, 60, 163, so 163. Here's school and up next is month ahead, which is getting $15. So we've got 1, 2, 300, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70. So 2, 370. Alrighty. Next up is vacation, which is getting $20. This is ha uh, lower than it was last paycheck because uh, I spent money on a hotel. I finally got booked a hotel because the friend that I was going with was dragging his feet on getting a hotel so uh i booked the go hotel and you know whatever so we've got 100 2 3 4 5 6 700 720 30 35 36 37 38 39 so 739 hotels are getting expensive especially in like major cities and uh it's a little ridiculous all right me and mine is getting 30 dollars this paycheck so we've got in here 120, 130, 35, 36, 37, 38. So 138 in me and mine. Nothing is going in new tech. And social back here is getting $15. So in social we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88. 88 dollars in social. Alrighty. Up next here is the lower priority sinking funds. 
starting off with pantry stock up, which is getting $15. So we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77. So $77 in here. And then we've got home goods, which is getting $20. So we got 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 60, 67, 68. 68 in home goods. It's probably the highest it's been in a while because I normally spend this money pretty quickly. Then we've got medical, which is just getting a $10 bill. So we've got 20, 40, 50, 55, and $60 in here. Gifts is getting five dollars. We've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100 in here. Um, this will be for my cousin's wedding. Um, I don't know if I'm actually gonna go anymore, but I'll still send them something, probably. Um, because I actually like my cousin, so um budgeting in YouTube is getting 15. So we have 25 in there. And then last here is yearly subscriptions, which is also getting $10. So in yearly subscriptions, we have 120, 40, 60, 80, 90, 210. Which is pretty good. I don't think I actually have anything coming up just yet as far as yearly subscriptions so we'll see how that goes that might just continue accumulating and then you know until next time around i don't know um all right so let's go ahead and do our payday challenge sorry sip sip um so payday challenge i got paid on the 21st so we're gonna add 21 dollars into here for september And then let's go ahead and deal with the 100 envelope savings challenge. I had $113 to play with. So let's find a calculator here and shift some stuff. All right, $113. Perfect. All right. So $113. I don't know if you can see it. Minus 92, which is the last one on the row of 90s, equals 21, and I can do 21. I love it when the math works out. It is fantastic. All right. So let's go ahead and add this money on in to this guy that is one of the biggest envelopes to consolidate every month because of this, this right here. Oops, oops, oops. Like, like, look at her. I mean, granted that back half, that's just ones. Like that's, that's probably $20 in ones at least right there. But I am excited to continue to put money into this hundred envelope savings challenge because this one will likely go right to my car loan once I have this challenge completed. Oh, okay definitely needs to be consolidated. Alrighty, so that is that. Now let's go ahead and see how much money we are putting towards our savings challenge stuffing for October. It should be $499, so let's find out. Oof, okay. So we have 1, 200, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 94, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. 499 dollars, which is fantastic. Alrighty. So that is that. Woot, woot. All right. Ugh. And that is what I've got for you this week. So, um, first payment towards my car loan 
a little bit less than half of what it actually is going to be monthly, but you know, that is what that is. So, uh, come on back next week for the end of month update where we're going to con consolidate some of these binders because these two are getting pretty darn thick and we will see how much money, how much progress we have made for the month of September. Um, it's probably actually going to be in the negative just because I dropped $9,500 on a car, but that aside, we will, we will see where things land. All right. So I will catch you guys next week for that video. Y'all go ahead and do something marvelous. Um, something nice and relaxing for yourself over the weekend. Enjoy time with friends, family, enjoying the weather, whatever it is that recharges and motivates you. And I will catch you next week for that video. I will see you then. Peace. Mm -hmm.